If you have been using Access for a while, you probably like the feature to create pivot tables and pivot charts. Well, I have bad news for you. If you have Access 2013, then you cannot do that anymore. They took that feature out. So if you still like that feature, is that a solution? Yes, I have two solutions for you. The first one is communicating with Excel that has pivot tables, and the other one is communicating with Access through queries. Let me do the first one first. Uh, you want a pivot table on a very simple database. The database is so simple that I don't have to explain anything. It has only three tables, etc. You don't care. It's just an example. Then I create a query that has the information I want to know. I wanted to know in which year to which country did we ship and what was the total amount. The query looks like this. We have in here the order date and I used a new name for that field, year colon, and then I used the date part function based on the year. You put that in double quotes. If you want a quarter, quarter one, two, three, four, double quotes, Q, double quotes. A w can also be for the week, etc. And then the field order date. Then I use the ship country, which is basically here. And then I calculated the total, the new name of the field, total colon, the quantity times the unit price. Okay. So what are we going to do now? Once we have that query, we are going to use that in Excel to create a pivot table. Don't forget to close the query. Don't forget to close the database and open Excel. In Excel, you go to insert pivot table, but this time based on another data source. Choose your connection, browse to the right spot. That's the database and it says this is what I found in there and one of them is a query. If you use tables that's okay too but then you have to connect them inside your query. I won't go into those details. So I take that one and it gives me the pivot table structure. So I have the, the three fields that I put in the query. I'm going to put the ship country in the rows, the year in the columns, and the total in the values. It automatically sums them. If you want to make this real money, look like currency, you click on that subtotal, value field, number format, currency. So that's the, the pivot table. Uh, if you want to pivot chart too, that's okay, but that will not work in Access. But the table will work in Access. So what are we going to do? We are going to close this file. It's an in-between file from now on. Store it wherever you want it. I'm going to put it in the same folder as before, and I call it book one. And we are going to put in there that a, a link to that Excel file with the pivot table. External data, import and link to Excel. Find your file. It's a little bit work. And don't forget to link it. Link to the data source by creating a linked table. So it will update later on. Uh, you can't use row headings in this case because a pivot table has a, a different structure. Next, give it a name. I'm going to call it pivot. Okay, it, it says yes, we have the connection. So now when I open that thing, it, uh, it goes a little wrong on top. These numbers should not be currency, but I, um, I leave that up to you. And notice that uh, Argentina did not have any sales in 1994. Norway didn't, Poland. I'm going to update this database. I close this thing and I'm going to orders and at the end I'm going to add a new order. 
on purpose I'm going to add it this year so that is in 2014 at this moment okay. and I, I could add all kind of information here I'm, I'm skipping that I'm going to add a new country that was not in the list and close that table and now I'm going to put order details for that new order which is 11078 I use a certain product let's say um, chai and let's say that's very expensive it's $100 and I want two of those I close this did my pivot table update of course not there is no Netherlands so why did it not update because we have to do that through Excel and that is the clumsy part I don't like in the older versions of access it, that happened automatically but not here so we have to go to Excel as you know pivot tables do not automatically update so we have to update it in Excel don't forget to close your database when you do that and you go back to that thing enable the content notice that the Netherlands is not there yet so you have to update it data refresh and there is a new column for 2014 there is the Netherlands $200 that year um, you probably know that when you go to analyze you can also choose the options and say under options that we always want when we do data refresh the data when opening the file so you don't have to click on the refresh button but still you have to go through this step in order to update it close Excel that was the intermediate program and open your pivot table again and check your pivot table and there is the Netherlands now the way it was sorry it's not a nice way but um, if you have an older version of access you don't have to go for all this hassle how you do that I will not explain in this video I did that extensively in my CD-ROM your access to the world that you can find at genesispc.com and especially these two sections show you how to handle tables and charts and how you could, can put them in forms and you can even put them in reports so that's the part I will not explain today uh, as I said I don't think it is the, the most elegant way I would recommend a much easier way and that is create a cost tab how do you create a cost tab the cost tab did the same so there you see 2014 Netherlands how do you make a cost tab like that uh, it, it's basically as powerful as a pivot table that's probably why they took that functionality of a pivot table out of access 2013 but still you, you won't have the chart option so we are going to uh, show how you do that you uh, you do again the same kind of thing that we did before you use again the date part function on the order date give the field a name then the ship country and the total what I did there already I put in the formula already the sum function quantity times unit price okay it so make it a cross tab query design and click on cross tab I did that already at the moment you do that you get a total row and you get a cross tab row the total row says group by year so you get all the years separate group by, group by ship country and that is an expression the expression is the calculation that you had the formula that you have put in there then in the cross tab section you can assign column headings row headings and values the only limitation is that you can only create one column heading but you can create several row headings so for instance you could also specify by ship city I'm, I'm going to add ship city as an option okay crew by and just to show you don't put it in the column heading for that is not possible you have that already used and now we get a more extensive overview in Austria 
we had two cities in France, we had many cities, etc. If you take that out, of course, then that will be the simple one that we had before. And here it is. I think this is an elegant way, but you have to use a query and you cannot create charge from it. It updates automatically. You don't have to go back and forth to Excel. As I told you already, there are many more options in Access. Access is not an easy program. So thousands of people have felt more comfortable with Access through GenesisPC.com and this CD-ROM. It has more than 1,500 slides and interacts with you.